Okay, so last time I showed you sort of the outside of the house, but this time I'm going to do the little fly around to show you what um, is inside, <laughs> in case you're interested. Uh, okay, so first of all, this here is um, our cat access sculpture. Uh, so the cats can come up, and there's going to be a cat flap. Hopefully, I am thinking, and my um, designer thinks it too, probably right in the wall right here. Okay, so that's just the cat access sculpture. In New Zealand, cats are allowed outside. My cat's going to be ecstatic. <laughs> they are going to be just ecstatic. Okay, so anyway, so this is one street side. And this, and then the long side is the other street side, and we're on the corner. Um, and we have our entrance. I'll, I'll do the upstairs first. We have our entrance here. Um, that's our entrance door. Uh, there's some levels here that are for the engineer, structural engineer, and foundations to go through. So this is our door. We'll go in the door, and so it's this glass out to the cat access sculpture. Um, the finishings aren't all completely correct, but um, the, it is going to be timber here and some sort of aluminium to match the siding and the garage doors along the side here. And we'll have something underneath the garage. We don't know what. Um, and then as you come up the stairs, we are going to have wood floors throughout upstairs. And we turn right. So this is John and Mai's apartment. We're going to have our um, so sitting room here. Um, with our sword collection on this wall, I think, although, you know, it's decorating, we're not there yet. The little windows up top will open out, like, awning-wise, so that you can use that as cooling with ceiling fans. Um, and we will have a gas fireplace here with a TV on top and shelving on the side, obviously, for our receiver and stuff for surround sound. Um, so gas fire, because in the winter it can get a little cool, I guess you'd say, on the, um, in the in, in winter and spring and fall in the mornings and the evenings so we thought again but you don't need like real central heating or anything like that but a gas fire would be nice to take the chill off the morning air and that leads into the kitchen um i notice i have no dining area that is on purpose i'm not entertaining in this house um back here it will be my barbecue area um it looks out onto our back garden that i sometimes expect take pictures of where there's a bird bath and stuff um, and then uh, here the kitchen design is not done the kitchen designer is a separate person but the, as you can see there's a lot of space for things and the dishwasher and sink are in the in, in the island section um, and there will be a range hood and gas gas heating and then that's this decking I'll do it outside afterwards um, and then this will be our office slash gaming room with space for two desks um, yeah, and this, so this deck that's out here, it overlooks the entire, it overlooks the garden that's there now, and from the corner, looks straight down a road where there are no um, houses. We wanted to point it more, uh, point it more towards that corner, but th it won't work with the, the daylight thing. So that's all right. But so there's deck here um, where I'll probably grow herbs. Or on the other side, and then there's we're gonna have reading chairs and stuff here, and because it's it face this face is pretty much northwest, almost north, which in the southern hemisphere means summer sun. So we'll have a, a shaded area here to sit in, and this will be more, um, more outside. And then um, the other half was sort of part of the if you go left from up the stairs. Well, first of all, we'll have a powder room here. Um, for guests or anybody um, I allow upstairs. And then um, there's a dumb waiter here that goes down to the garage, I'll, and I'll talk about that and I'll go down. And then there's a, a linen cupboard. And then um, our master bedroom here. And it has a sliding double door wardrobe. I'm not having a walk-in closet. It just fills up with crap. And our own little balcony here. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but it's nice to have. And then our bathroom. Um, is, is not fully designed either um, in colors or materials or anything. I have ideas and we're working on those. Um, but it will have the, the, the floating counter with one sink, probably a bowl sink, and the double-headed shower fully tiled here. So yeah, and then bathroom and bidet separate closing here. So that's, um, that's that. 
Uh, and if you go downstairs again, so it said there's a dumbwaiter. It goes down and connects to, there's two doors here. Okay, one goes straight out into the garage where there's a garage for our car and the deep freezer or whatever and the boat and tractor that Kevin and Wendy use for fishing. So there's lengthwise room for that there. Um, and then this thing will be a cupboard and the other one will be attached to the dumbwaiter. <laughs> you see, so I can bring groceries up the stairs. Sorry. Um, so I can bring groceries up the stairs easily. Um, the door, the other door connects here as well and will be unlocked here. Um, the other door here, I will be able to lock from this side and it will be part, it will be shared with the unit downstairs, our, our laundry, basically. Um, the utility sink, washer, dryer, um, a bit of cabinet space, and obviously connecting to the dumbwaiter on this side also, so I can bring laundry up and down easily from our, our place upstairs. And then it also connects you know, to the garage so that the unit can access it, which is downstairs, can access it either from this door or from the garage. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's how our our living arrangements work. And then the deal is that Wendy and Kim will get to have this space for, to use for their, that's my in-laws, for their lifetime. Um, and uh, and then family or whatever, friends can come visit. Um, and they have a separate entrance with separate, there's gonna be separate parking out here that's not on the designs at all because we have to remove some trees and that requires certain things. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, so they have, will have a separate entrance and then they're actually not going to have a breakfast car bar. They're going to have shelving underneath there. That's a new thing that's not in the design yet. And they have sort of a replica of ours, but not quite. Um, not really, actually. They have a dining table um, and sort of sitting area with sliding doors here as well. Uh, the kitchen will be designed like mine, but is obviously a little smaller. Not tiny, though, um, for vacation living with a cupboard here. Um, and a bathroom with a tiled shower and uh, uh, heated floors like ours. We, we have having heat, underfloor heating in the bathrooms. And also a little linen cupboard. Um, and then two bedrooms. One with sliding doors and a little... Um, and then, so the, ban the, the, the linen closet... Where am I? Outside the, their unit. Okay. Their linen closet and then there's the bedroom to the right here with a space for a double bed and this bedroom. And so, and with both with wardrobes built in, but not walk-in, obviously. And they have access through, uh, to a patio area in the back. So their main outside area is in the back. And this is an outside shower for both partners, parts to use, really. Um, and then that's our gas tanks, because you, you get gas not piped in, but delivered in tanks. Um, and their outside eating area, and then the garbage um, cans will be covered up like that, one for ours and one for the unit. So um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, yeah, that's our place, the green door.